Hi everybody and welcome to Plaid Craft TV. I'm Steve Piacenza. And I'm Kathy Fillion. Today we'll be using gallery glass and treasure gold to transform a modern frame into a Paris inspired window. It's easier than it looks. So we started this project with a modern frame just like this one. And we added a lot of embellishments to it. The first thing that we did was we edged around the entire frame with some molding that we tricked out with folk art paint and treasure gold. We added some velvet around the edge too. Of course we used gallery glass and our lead lines to create the Eiffel Tower. And on the back side we just collaged some scrapbook papers to add colors and textures to the back. So let me show you how we got this molding look here. We got ourselves a piece of molding at the craft store, plain molding just like this, and we painted it black with folk art paint. Now, to get that antique look, we use some treasure gold. Now you can use treasure gold with a cloth, a brush, even your finger. I like to use a paper towel, and you're just going to dip it right in your treasure gold. Now remember, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. And then I'm gonna rub right on top of my painted molding, and you can see that right there, that really great silvery look. And then just give it a rub. Now I like to use my finger, also with this getting into those nooks and crannies, because a lot of great highs and lows. And once we were done with that, we just glued it right down onto our piece of glass right here. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is use your lead lines. What we've done is we've taken a picture of the Eiffel Tower and made a pattern out of it by blowing it up on a copier to the size of our frame. And of course, you'll be able to find the template for this at platonline.com. Once you've blown up your image, you're gonna tape it behind the glass and then you're just going to follow over the lines with your lead lines. These are adhesive backed. You get a, quite a few of them in a package. You'll peel it off. You wanna try not to stretch it. And then you'll go in and just position it right on top of the patterned line. I want to show you how simple it is to do curves. Just go around, just follow your line, just like so. And when you get to the part where you want to cut it off, you can just use the cutting tool, it comes in the kit with all the different tools. You can go in and slice that just like that. It's very, very simple. Now one thing that we're doing with this that's a little bit different than traditional gallery glass for stained glass windows is we are overlapping our leading lines. And you can see here we've gone in and overlapped them over each other and that's just to create that kind of what like wrought iron. It really looks like <laughs> iron this the way. The Eiffel Tower yes. look. <laughs> Once you have all of your pieces down, you're gonna be ready to start gallery glassing. It's a great look. Now to add a little bit more detail to this, we're using the gallery glass itself. We're using some black onyx and some white etching. So this is really kind of the, a process where kind of have fun with it and pick the areas that you wanna highlight. We're using the white etching right here and we're just gonna go in between these little pockets here, these little windows that the iron is holding right on in and we're just randomly selecting the areas that we want to highlight. And we're not gonna do them all because these are just kind of special little windows that we're using. It, it adds like to the antique look too. Absolutely, and remember if you get a bubble in any of the windows that you're filling in, you just poke with a pin and it goes away. Now we're also gonna use the black onyx. I love this look. Give it a little bit more detail. And this one we're gonna use right up here on top, filling in, again, you just want full coverage over the whole entire area that you're using, filling it right on in, moving it around, moving the tip around, and just filling in. And continue and filling in your whole entire project. And then you're ready to move on to your next step. The next thing is just assembling the whole piece together. And you can see here that we've done that. We've just popped it right back into our frame, added our scrapbook paper behind it, did a little bit of collage with sort of a paris -y theme. And now you're ready to hang it on your wall. And remember, for complete instructions on our Paris window, go to plaidonline.com. And check out our bonus ideas that use the same techniques here, tabletop art. So have fun creating your own art. See you next time. Bye, guys.